All right. See, I got my 22 caliber Dream Pup. Um, I just got some new slugs to test. Um, I've been shooting the NSA 17.5, and I saw Griffin Griffin slugs came out with a insert called low density core supposed to aid in fragmentation so I thought I'd try some of them um, 18 grain cup base 217 and I couldn't find the equivalent in the two different sizes this is a dish base 218 so I guess the diameter is what I'm really interested in for sure and so I'm going to check the velocity first compared to my NSA which are a little bit lighter and then do accuracy test and then the main reason for getting them is see what the expansion is like I'll shoot some gel at like 48 yards so let's get set up for the velocity okay first we'll shoot some Nelsons uh, I was getting just over 900 about 900 the other day it's 56 degrees so let's see what she's doing today Okay, we're doing the Nielsen's 919. Actually, I put the Puma regulator in there with the extended plenum, plenum to give me some more punch. And it's averaging higher, probably just as a few degrees warmer. Let's try one more. Nine twenty-three. Okay, let's switch to one of the Griffin slugs. Okay, I got the Griffin slugs, with the dish base, 0.218 diameter. So velocity is going to be a little bit lower, I would think, partly because it's a little heavier and partly because it's a slightly bigger diameter. Looking at it, it's got a fairly small hollow point but if it expands with this I think it's like a little polymer ball inserted it might be more aerodynamic with a smaller hollow point and that's another thing I gotta do is determine the BC but here we go Griffin 18 grain dish base LDC 218 okay I got three of them to do. 902. One more. Tell you one thing, they're kicking up dirt pretty good. And once again, I don't know what this FX radar, if you get a duplicate, it, it says duplicate but shows 902 again so real consistent okay I've aired up I'm going to do the Griffin 18 grain cup base LDC 0.217 diameter and let's see if the velocity climbs any because it is a smaller diameter um, slug and another thing I noticed uh, I got a, a little bit of lubricant feel on these slugs and it's not dirty on my hands so I don't know if these are lubricated or not here we go 905 about the same I mean, 23. Well, I always suspect the first shot to be maybe a little bit different. 902. 902. Hmm. Okay. Next. 
We're going to shoot it 48 yards for accuracy. Okay, I got my target out. 48. And I don't know if I'll record all the group shooting, but we'll see if we can just catch the first group with the NSA. <clears throat> Side, I'm just going to shoot five. Got a little bit of right to left wind. That was excellent follow through on my part. Okay, four or five pretty darn tight. Might be a better slug and it might be, as usual, the more I shoot, the better I get concentrating and getting in the groove. Okay, I'm going to set up for a quick expansion test. Okay, I got 10% ballistic gel, which before I was using 20%, and... That's for NATO. This is FBI. Clear ballistics gel. I cut the block. It weighs approximately 15 ounces and a pigeon is uh, 12 to 16 ounces. So first I'm going to shoot with the Nelsons because i sure they'll just zip on through and we'll retrieve it and look at it. And then if the Griffins with the light density core expand and fragment like I hope they will uh, on this weight block then we'll have some pieces inside the fish out so let's do some quick 50 yard walking or 48 okay I see I hit the block a little high hit there and as you notice the block didn't jump a lot from down my perspective and it didn't fall over so probably not much expansion at all um, which is okay if you're going after small birds sparrows and stuff it's gonna kill them and or if you want good penetration like you're gonna shoot some groundhogs or raccoons in the head you don't want it to expand so let's fish this out I gotta take it down to the drive so I don't lose the slug. Okay, there's the NSA slug. Okay, um, next one of the Griffin slugs, I'll tell what it is once I get down there. And once again, the reason I'm using a block that weighs the same amount of the game I'm shooting is in my opinion the more weight means the more resistant to the slug which increases expansion uh, so unless you're shooting a groundhog I wouldn't be using a 8 or 12 pound block of uh, gel to gauge expansion now if you want to judge just penetration in general and see what penetrates the deepest and what dumps more of its energy in a shorter period of time then you need to shoot at a full size block and then of course take into account the weight of the block uh, when you're trying to figure out the amount of expansion you're really getting so let's go down and do a griffin I decided to do two shots with that because my first shot hit close to the right edge second shot wasn't a whole lot better uh, about an inch off the left edge with the other one was a half inch but uh, sounded like a little bit more pop but um, didn't knock the block over like what happens with um, 
the FX hybrid slug. So let's dig these out and see what they look like. All right, um, here's the results. The Nielsen first and the two Griffin. I didn't keep track of what was the cup base and what was the dish base. But you can see over here, one of the little polymer balls, whoop, blocking it, uh, that helps aid in expansion. And it certainly does. I'm going to measure these in a second. Um, one thing I'll mention about this uh, ballistic gel, clear ballistic brand, it has a, um, here let me get, it, it has sort of a snap back value to it where, you know, it doesn't leave a true uh, expansion cavity. It goes through, if you had high speed you could probably see it, uh, but then it snaps back into place. So it's not good for judging expansion cavities unless you are uh, got high speed. But let's see if I can get on camera and do some measurements. And like I say, all these slugs can have different purposes. I'm not downgrading one slug or the other. Um, the Nielsen's are supposed to be 0.21. Um, seven five something like that and there I'm getting point two one six Griffin I don't know which one this is cup or whatever in it one didn't hit very solid on the edge there's 27 caliber or point two one seven I don't know if that is equivalent to 27 caliber Whoop. And try to get the widest expansion. 0.263. So, if you need expansion, Griffins certainly seem like they got it. Um, but these are like almost 20 bucks or around 21, I have to check. But pushing 20 per hundred and the Nielsen's for this small of a slug $18.99 I think for 400 so Nielsen's are going to get the job done on small birds and pigeons and stuff but if you're not shooting a lot during each day um, only shooting a couple dozen shots or something and you want to put down the game it certainly looks like uh, these are going to do a, a great job of that so it's cloudy day I can't do my BC testing but I need to do the BC testing on the Griffin slugs because um, they don't give it on the website so I'll do a follow-up video